Brews and Banter. Hi, Frank. Hi, Roman. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Season 2. Season 2. Episode 42. Episode 42. Right, 42. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. It is exciting. A lot to recap from previous year. I don't know if we'll be able to recap but this not one. Not on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more excited about this thing we got here. Yeah, so... Uh, the, the video people are... Those who are seeing this for the first time, go to our YouTube channel and... Um, Look at our unboxing and and, and re- pre- review of this. So this was from Bentwater, as you can see it itched on the on the front of it. However, we didn't get this directly from Bentwater. Uh, my youngest brother, who lives in Massachusetts, uh, him and my other brother also went to the brewery and just wanted to hang out during Thanksgiving and just catch up. And Danny. Um, beer tender at the bar uh, sold me a growler and told me if we get 12 of those we get one of these so we mentioned this on one of our episodes not too long ago i think it was last one yeah uh, or or one before yeah. last one was christmas so and now you see what it looks like this is what you get it's impressive for so, sure so yeah. yeah my brother and, and my sister-in-law hooked us up with this and um we did a review video on YouTube, so check that out. And now we get to use it for the f- first time for a podcast. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the- and you get to pour, actually, because the the tab's on your side. Yeah, so this thing's pressurized. It's got, I mean, I know yeah. listeners don't won't be able to see this, but. We got CO2 cartridge in there. It's on. We pressurized it at, I think, 15 PSI. Mm-hmm. Might be more than we need, but. Let me pour this here. So, oh, that's a lot of pressure, Roman. Slow that down. We don't want anybody to see that because they're gonna. gonna What we're drinking? We are drinking. (laughs) What the fuck is? Whoa! Go, go a little light. No, I think we go a little light on the pressure. Can't you lower that down? Ah, let me see. (laughs) All right, so. Here we go. Let's try this now. Whoa, what happened there? You're all out? The thing got excited. <laughs> Thank you. So this holds, uh, what, 128 ounces? 128 ounces, yeah. full gallon. We are drinking uh, Bentwater Brewing Company. Uh, Sluice juice. Sluice juice, yep. 6.5%. 6.5%. They are out of Lynn, Massachusetts. Check them out. Let's cheers this. I mean, you got. I think you got enough for a sip in there. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yep. Works with IPA. Yeah. <laughs> um, I read online or maybe I saw a video where if you're drinking uh, a nitro beer you have to change the tap this little handle guy here yeah i think it unscrews and and you can change it yep no that's a it's a pretty well-built machine so it's stainless steel we have a brushed version they have a mirrored version um stainless steel it's rectangular perfect size for your refrigerator door uh it's double wall construction so it keeps your beer cold for longer i don't know how long um this cap is heavy duty. Yeah. It's like a fucking semi truck diesel yeah. cap. <laughs> and that's what holds the uh, CO2 cartridge. Yeah, the CO2 cartridge is in there. You got um, pressurized safety uh, bleeder pin here. Mm-hmm. I think it's rated for like 20, 25 PSI. And you got a gauge up there, and this is your on and off uh, for pressurizing. So if you're not a fuck with it, you can try to raise the pressure all the way up and then dispense and see if this thing will blow off. Well, it won't dispense. I think once you raise the PSI too high, this will pop mm-hmm. up. But yeah, so it's so, it's it's a cool machine. I mean, this thing is a. Yeah. We'll use it with more, for more more beers. Yeah. Stainless steel, great design. So. They they say it only works with bent water beer, but mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try it. We'll we'll give yeah, it the yeah. old college try. <laughs> if it breaks without the beer, then we'll know it's rigged. Right. And in the front of it, there's a, a glass tube, so you can kind of see the yeah. level of uh, you know, how much beer you got left. Yeah, sight glass. So, but I mean, still, 
you could sit there and have a have a good buzz put on with this thing once you if you try to finish it. Full gallon of, gallon of beer. Yeah, I mean. So if you I if you go it. to a brewery and, and you get a, a growler and you know it's like a day or two till it starts to lose carbonation, mm-hmm. you put in one of these, pressurize it, and you can have that sitting in the refrigerator door. It's just like having a keg. Yeah, just yeah. open the door, pour yourself some beer, and close it. Or the center console of your vehicle, of course. Yeah, of course. If you're not driving, but yeah. <laughs> road pops for the passenger, like it'll you, can, you can face the, the the tap towards the passengers in the yeah. back. Yeah, that way, <laughs> not the one who's drinking. You could put a you could put a tube on this, like a funnel. You could. Yeah. I mean, well, the pressure is coming out. It's going to blow your. You get one of those hard hats. Yeah. Instead of beer cans, you just have the I got two. one. <laughs> but this thing here would blow that little punching bag off the back of your throat with fucking pressures on your nose. You know that little dangly thing in the back of your throat? Yeah. Punching bag. Yeah, the, the speed bag. <laughs> All right, so we got more beer in here now because the phone's yeah. going away. So we're going to... Thanks to my brother, my sister-in-law, and thanks to Ben yes, Water. thank you. Cheers, guys, and Happy New Year. Super cold, man. Whew. Good beer. So what else we got? We got to the studio, and we had these gifts. Yes. Where's yours? It's right here. So we had a, a secret visitor. A Santa. Did you did you leave cookies and milk? No, I think this came from. I my... left a, a cigar and bourbon, and it was gone. So oh, it must have been my wife that <laughs> did that because. Well, who do you think this secret Santa was? I think it's my wife. <laughs> so, yeah, did she just kind of? Uh, must Your have wife is so here. cool. I don't know what we got here. Maybe it's another one of these tap machines. Oh. What do we get? We can snuggle together. These are... A blanket. Sleep pants. This is not, this is not a blanket. Oh, it's sleep that? pants. <laughs> Man. Look how comfy and soft these are, huh? I'm just going to kind of take mine off like that. You can sit there and fucking be a Neanderthal. What? You're like ripping tags and shit. Mine just comes off like that. I didn't even have one of those. Fuck you. Look at the sleep pants. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. It's going to keep my ball bag warm. This is perfect. We got a, we got a, a tap machine and we got these tap handles. Maybe next episode we'll wear sweep, sleep pants. <laughs> I'm going to put these on now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, there's two pairs. Yeah. That was top and bottom. No. And they have pockets. How I thoughtful. Like These are nice. Do we have to match? We do match. <laughs> well, thank you to your wife. Yeah, thank you. I will make sure I relay that message. Uh, so what else we got? You still got one of these, I owe you. Oh, yeah. I, keep, and, I honestly keep forgetting. But I wanted to talk... Was the last episode we talked about Haverly Bottle? No, I think a couple of episodes back. So we, I just wanted to, we, we heard from Patrick at Haverly, and he said these bottles that we have are from uh, like the early 1900s, like 1900, I the message from him. I pulled it up. Oh, you did? Yeah. Don't and pull it out. I said pull it out. I'll do both. <laughs> but it's uh, 1900, 1904, maybe 1920s, not sure. I, I, so he's not even seen these bottles, so he'd mm. probably be able to tell once he sees them. But I do have... Like I said, I found a source, so I found um, I got more coming. <laughs> so uh, we'll go we'll go through because nice. this one's got the Haverly logo and name kind of on the top towards the neck, mm-hmm. you know. But I I found one that's got got it written towards the middle of the bottle mm, or towards nice. the bottom. So um, and then there's actually a a special one coming. Why were you flipping me off? Oh. It's what I do. Hmm. And I got a special one coming. That uh, these are really small. Like the, I don't know if those Your are like fingers normal. gonna get stuck in there. I know. I don't think that this thing is like the size of a normal bottle, is it? Well, the glass is thicker than it is now. Yeah. So your penis would fit in here, but mine wouldn't. I need the wider loose. Mouth. I need the wider mouth. Uh, you wouldn't even touch the edges. <laughs> <laughs> but, some, uh, some people need Gatorade bottles. <laughs> I just need. <laughs> Uh, a, a narrow neck, a, like a sippy cup. <laughs> I, uh, but I do have another bottle coming that I, you know, I'll show you when that one that arrives. But that's exciting. They, I, we we talk to people about how we like the history of things, and and um, yeah, you know, this is this is really cool shit, especially we've, because it came from Syracuse. Yeah. We've entered them uh, into um, alcohol of fame. Yeah, yeah. And so, they're with uh, Anchor. They're with Anchor. I saw a post on Instagram 
uh, Anchor Brewery, like, wishing everybody a new year or happy holidays or something like that. And then they're like, oh, we'll see you back soon. So maybe the employees bought it? Maybe. We'll have to follow up on that. Yeah. Oh, I got a, a, a question for you. What has one head, one foot, and four legs? One head, one foot. No. One head. Yeah, one foot. <laughs> the fuck? And four legs. Well, it's got... My dick is a foot. And then four legs would be a dog penis. Way off. <laughs> yeah. What is it? A bed. Oh. I don't like that joke. <laughs> no, don't no, care. That's not fun. Okay. What is a reverse exorcism? I don't know. When a demon tells the priest to get out of a child. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you just whip the priest now? Yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to bring up that, that sound effect. So I was interacting with one of our listeners, mm -hmm. and they said something to me. And we're, you know, we're going back and forth. Oh, well, you do this. And I'm like, well, you do this. And you know, we're just communicating. But um, he said something to me. And and I, <laughs> it was something along the lines of, don't you have anything else, anything better you could be doing right now? Just like I was just annoying him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I thought, you know, you're you're such an asshole. So then I, I wanted to start maybe another segment called um, the tea bag recipient of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we'll mention someone's name, <laughs> and then they get the tea bag across their head, and then you get to hear that fucking sound bite. Wait. Say yeah, that pay again. attention. I don't know what the fuck's going on here with you. Can I say that again? When I say the person's name, the teabag recipient of the week is mm -hmm. whatever, and then you got to play the sound bite. All right, so you'll tell me when. So the yeah, the teabag recipient of this week, or maybe it's a month. I don't know how after we're gonna have these teabag people. <laughs> <laughs> but the teabag recipient this time is Jeff. That was especially for you, Jeff. Well, that's a whip. <laughs> we gotta we gotta do some sort of slap like a. Like a wet nut sack, like ran on a, a a big fat forehead. Like, no, like a <laughs> something like. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you just get a whip yeah. now. Yeah. We'll have a a special sound bite. We'll meet up and you. I'll give you a real tea bag. <laughs> Authentic tea bagging with a microphone, yeah, wanna... so we can use that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put one of these DJI's on my my bag and. <laughs> But then if you did that, you'd hear. Stop. He's going to lick my bag. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we tried to record that sound and it came out all right. But what else we got here? I have a an, an interesting story. So this is the title. Woman donates kidney to boss, then gets fired for taking too long to recover. <laughs> <laughs> really? I thought this was hoax, but it's a real like story. From The Onion? You ever go The Onion? I don't know where this... Uh, I'll have to find the source from this. My brother sent it to me. But Davy Stevens, a 47-year-old woman from Long Island, claims she was fired from her job at Atlantic Automotive Group after donating a kidney to her boss, Jackie Bruce, Brucia, Brucia. Stevens filed a complaint with the New York State Human Rights Commission, alleging that she was mis mistreated and fired after the woman got what she wanted. Stevens hired as an assistant by uh, Brucia in 2009, donated her kidney to a stranger to help Brucia move up on the organ donor list. Despite no, not being uh, the best match, Stevens underwent surgery in August 2011. Upon her return to work, Stevens alleged mistreatment including screaming, demoting and relocation to a dealership for more from her home. Stevens consulted a, a psychiatrist and after her attorneys sent a letter to Atlantic Automotive Group, she was fired within a week. Yeah. 
She should have fucking recovered quicker. <laughs> Maybe she gave her a kid. No, that's a liver from her. You know, I think I talked about this. You try to do a good deed, and you always get fucked. Yeah. Why is that? It's the, the way of the U.S. <laughs> I had a... I had a tenant who was pregnant, and um, she couldn't get hold of her husband, <laughs> so she called me to go to the Isn't house. Isn't the same person? <laughs> <laughs> she called me to go to her house to wake her husband up, so Where he was she could go to the hospital. She was in the hospital calling me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on the job site on the ladder with fucking tool belt, holding a tray, and my phone rings. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I check, and she's like... <laughs> Roman, I'm in, I'm in labor. Can you please get hold of my husband? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I went over to the house. I, the guy <laughs> opens the door. is like sleepy. I don't know if he works night shift or something. I go, dude, your wife is in labor. You got to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, can you imagine see, waking up from dead sleep? Yeah, like, see, Bruiser Banter is full service. I know. We we take care of Anytime our people. Anytime you guys need someone to go to someone else's house, call Roman. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do that for you. Wait, for what? <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. We, we don't put limits on this. We want to help everybody. Just, um, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for this good deed to come back and bite me in the ass. All uh. right. Nah, that how's that gonna put you in the ass? I don't know. Something's gonna happen. She's gonna say I didn't wake him up on time. <laughs> You're gonna. Can some, you see if you can pour me some more? No, the sight glass says there's no more. Oh. There you go. <laughs> That's what happens. That's tea bagging after a bad after a bad night of draft right there. Like, I thought the thing was gonna take off on me. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't record that song. <laughs> My God, what was happening there? I think we got too much pressure in this thing. Take this. I don't want to hold it anymore. <laughs> oh my God. I think there's too much pressure in this thing. I mean, maybe a keg has 14. that much. Well, maybe a keg has that much because they got bigger lines and they're traveling farther. This has got a small line and it's going about four inches. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we don't have enough beer in there. That's that's what it is. Uh, if you fill it up, maybe. I mean, why don't you put, what, 24 ounces? Uh, well, no. these are 16 what each, so what's 16? 32 times? ounces. <laughs> Boy, this is a that's, tough... a, that's a crowler, right? I think so. 32 ounces? Yeah. It's, um, I don't know. With, with the way you're all over the place, I'm going <laughs> to... What? I'm going to wait for you to, you know, later in life, whenever you die, because you're going to die before me. Uh-huh. I'm going to fucking... That's fart. a fact. I'm, I'm gonna fart on your casket pillow and give you dead guy pink eye. I'm gonna I'm gonna die from fucking gases that are coming out of your body. No, whatever's coming out of this thing. This thing is gassier than I am. That's not that as thing, loud. that was impressive. That's not as loud as you are. But so now what's happening? This pressure's near. If it's out of beer, pressure's going away. Mm, no, still pressurized. But uh, you know, we just have to release the pop off valve before. We just have to, yeah. Before taking the cap off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> or, excuse me. Or you just turn this off. Um, completely so you can shut the gases off and then you can take the cap off. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry. Shut this off, open that to release gases, then take the cap off. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it, yeah. it won't uh, be super pressurized. It's not going to blow, be, blow be, your hand or something. Be safe when you're operating this thing. But if you loosen the threads, I mean, the gas will escape and it's not like uh, opening your uh, radiator cap. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> hopefully this isn't 220 degrees or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> it's not. I um, and a pretty beefy handle on this thing too. Yeah, beefy. Mm. <laughs> I like when you say beefy. So they probably welded a nut, I bet, inside this. And then, like you said, it's it's kind of tapped, but there's probably a nut inside there because this looks like it's replaceable. It is. Or yeah. or they could have just drilled into the, the double wall and tapped it. Yeah, but what stops this from? Uh... Well, like if there's a solid piece of, um, stainless steel here. Yeah. In this area, you can tap the threads. Yeah, I, don't know. I like it. I like this thing. Yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty heavy duty. Like you it know, feels like it's still got something in there. You know what I want to do? Huh. Show up at the brewery with this. It says you can. It says you. No, can I know, it. but yeah. we we go to a brewery. They're like, oh fuck, where'd you get that shit? Yeah. Well, we're gonna tell them we got it yeah. from this place. And the kid right in the fucking front of it. This laser etched. <laughs> right, but you can buy these online. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we'll we'll include a website on the description if you want to just buy one of these. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think they also have a smaller size. I think they have 
64 ounce size and it doesn't have a handle so like a half gallon mm -hmm. no we need the handle there's another company that makes round ones um which is also also nice and you can get it in like a copper finish which which mm, i wish yeah. you could do that with this one yeah. but the round ones are kind of tough to put them in the refrigerator this yeah. is this is more um the square designs is just better for um Transport, yeah, the round ones might or, look a more, little more traditional, I suppose, with, you know, the copper finish or whatever. But the, this stainless steel, I mean, everything stainless is good. It's it's sanitary. It's easy mm -hmm. to clean. I so, wish the, the gold finish was copper you, instead of gold. I mean, what the fuck? You got a lot of hang-ups here, man, for it's a fucking just, machine we got for free for some if uh, this venison company jerky. Is if this company is listening right now. <laughs> Con, uh, contact me for consultation advice. Yeah. Or Send us another one with a different with a different thing. We'll try them all out. Yeah, but yeah, this um, this just this was just a a, a small um, venison jerky fee from your, <laughs> from your exchange from your brother. Yeah, my my son, my son and I went hunting, and I got a deer. Well, we both got a deer together. Uh, dual effort here, and um, so I. My freezer is kind of full from last year. I got a lot of deer last year because I, I, I had more opportunities to go out and hunt. But I get processed, so I get like Slim Jims sticks and uh, I get classic um, uh, classic jerky. And I just it's easier for me to give that away, you know. So I got like 40 or 50 pounds of that. 40 or 50 pounds of jerky? Yeah, <laughs> jerky and, and Slim Jim. Well, so combined. what about you don't get like steaks and the back straps and all other bullshit? Like I don't have any more room in the freezer. Oh, so you had to make them into this? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. And that way it's easy for right. me to give that away. To I didn't realize you did it on purpose for room, uh, for space issues. No. Yeah. But, you know, once once I use up what's in the freezer and then I get more, more steaks. I like, um, um, I order these cubes for like stew, venison stew. Yep. Excuse me. And uh, that that's delicious. But what the fuck do you care? You don't fucking eat meat anyways. I eat all kinds of meat. I just don't eat deer meat. You don't eat any meat that tastes gamey. Right. right? Well, who, who wants that? Badass motherfuckers like you I No, you only eat meat that tastes gamey because it's gay me. That's right. I'm happy. So... <laughs> we talked last week about maybe it was two episodes. I don't fucking know now, but the um, the Senate aide that had the yeah the, uh, sorry. the guy took it in the ass in the Senate yeah. So um, but I don't know. I'm just talking about the government now because we're gonna. There's all these you know issues overseas and, and uh, with Israel and Hamas and which Yemen there is and, another conflict by the way. Houthi or Houthi or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. Houthi and them Houthi and them pirates. Mm -hmm. You know, all these people. So basically, the supply chain is probably going to get interrupted again because now these guys in the Red Sea are getting all fucking attacked. So now people, the insurance is ridiculous to ship. So they're going to go around the southern tip of Africa. Well, no. Which like doubles their they time. They just deployed a special force to protect cargo ships against Houthi attacks. That's 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 right. They did. Yeah. But the people that are have already made the decision to go around mm -hmm. don't care about that. It's the people that have decided that they're still going to go through the Red Sea. That this, I mean, it's a joint task force with some other countries, but I don't know that um, it's going to solve all the problems. I'm I'm hoping this task force because it's it's U.S. and U.K. I know for sure that are that are involved because they're the ones who are are fighting and stopping Houthi attacks in in the Red Sea. They've shot, like, drones down and all kinds of stuff. Which is another problem, because their drones are $1,000, and the missiles we're using are a million. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Hope not million. Uh, I th I think it is. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's, it's fucking stupid. Another conflict just brewed up is Finland and Russia. Mm-hmm. Did you hear about that? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on around Putin's the world. Who knows what's going on? I know. Why? And he's going to get reelected like in if, two months. Yeah, <laughs> he wants to run for another term. He, he's gonna. And but yeah. their their thing only runs like, I you know we start campaigns for our president like, you know, 
three and a half years before the election. <laughs> These guys do it like three and a half months. Oh, you hear what Colorado did? Yep. Man, it, it'll probably be overturned, I'm sure, but people are all pissed yeah, off. Yeah, that's fucking... Even liberal people are... That's a big off. no-no. That is like... Mm-hmm. So it's then, like saying we can we can break democratic laws to save democracy. Right. <laughs> like, no, no I, it doesn't I work think, like that. I thought I just read before we got here today that uh, Texas and someone else, I don't know the other state, are trying to do that now to keep Biden off the ballot. Yeah, that's so stupid. Like, <laughs> stop. Yeah. Cut the shit. Just let people decide, and that's what's going to be. Yeah. Well. It's like, uh, I don't need you to make decisions for me. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's just a fucking big circle jerk and a waste of money. And Yeah. I, I hope I hope um, Russia doesn't retaliate too, too bad against Finland because I'm concerned about too many conflicts. Are, well, are Finland's now. in NATO now. So, and South Korea fucking launched a, a rocket that could reach U.S. North Korea. Sorry. Yep. Fuck. North Korea. Yeah. Correct. But, but Finland's in NATO now, so if Putin wants to go after that, we yeah. There's a there's a lot of people involved here. I mean, I don't know why we have to spend. I mean, we're a large country, I guess. That's why. But there's um there's so much money that we throw at this. I don't know why we're not like sharing equally with other people. Any responsibility we have for protecting people outside of our borders you know what i've been thinking is uh, countries like russia china cuba um these are like dictator controlled countries right mm-hmm. what if they have no intentions of like taking over neighboring countries what is the problem of joining nato i think they have a problem with it because they maybe have plans for the future to take over some of those countries. So mm-hmm. if, if your intent is to do to do harm and, and go into war with another country, that's when you'll have problems with, with countries joining NATO. Yeah, I mean, think of this. I mean, Unless they're afraid that this this collaboration of, of countries with NATO, then it's going to attack them, which I hope is not the fact. I hope it's just kind of like a... Um, mutual kind of agreement that look we're just here to protect each other because of countries like russia and china exist yeah, i mean you know you, you look at the big picture and it's 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 sad that you know cuba is the is the golden child right now <laughs> like you don't hear anything Why? about them they're not in any trouble they're not causing any fucking issues like, well no they are working with um uh cuba china and russia were joint force for our midterm elections 2022 they are they were heavily um conflicting with um like public in in u.s yeah yeah, creating chaos and all that stuff i was talking about militarily like there's no yeah well i think it was kind of surrounded by that's what i'm talking about yeah you know but they don't have the manpower and military might that these other countries do so you know what's in cuba is is like russian cars and i was wondering why are there russian cars in cuba <laughs> well they got cars like ours too no they do but yeah. where's russia and where's cuba no. and uh i was just surprised to see russian cars in they, cuba. Uh, i see a lot of these car shows where they're over there like rebuilding and, and um restoring these like 1940 1950 big ass fucking you know chryslers and shit that used to be here because they don't have any rust on them. My son and I just started watching a show, Gotham Garage. Have you heard of it? I've heard of that, but I didn't watch it's it. On, it's on uh, Netflix. That's pretty cool. He he seems to like it, so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm down with it. Yeah. They they buy, like, uh, junk cars. They fix them up, make them, like, real, look fancy, custom, uh, and then they sell them. Yeah. They have, like, uh, joint deals to, like, fix this car up for me, I'll trade you for this one, and then... They'll use this trade to mm. do some work. So it's not all money. Trade it yeah. for something else, you know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool show. Yeah. There's like se- uh, five seasons, five or six. That seasons. many seasons? Oh, yeah. I don't fucking. I think I just because heard about the, this thing. The whole um, the the motorcycle one, Orange County Choppers. Choppers. That like all fell apart. Oh yeah, it was a dysfunctional fucking. Their thing. their father was in more debt than he owned. 
It's crazy. It, it's tough when you, you got all this money coming in, and you got TV sponsorships, and, yeah. and you, you ever see his house on that show? He's got this big fucking farm, all these fucking animals, and this huge log cabin looking house, and like, well, why? Why would you want to put yourself in debt to do that? So you can go home and fucking shit in the same toilet everybody else does and sleep in a bed? I mean, like, <laughs> why do you need to do that? <laughs> you know, like... Same toilet. <laughs> Well, we're everybody, not sharing the toilet. The same everybody's time, shitting. The same. <laughs> <laughs> like the same configuration. He's probably got enough money for one of those Bluetooth toilets we talked about. Oh, I he probably, he's toilet. probably got a fucking clutch on his toilet. His toilet's bigger than the one that's here. He's got fucking motorcycle handlebars that pop up in front of his toilet so he can... Like this. Oh, you know what's funny? On Instagram, I saw these uh, toilets, and uh, they're probably like AI-generated arts, and they were... In shapes of like different trucks, like GMC, F one fifty, Chevy, you know, like <laughs> how so, are they big? They're huge, like a size of a tub. Yeah, no, it's like the size of a toilet, but like the tank and the whole design looks like a truck. It's <laughs> really I'll, weird. I'll find out. Why don't they put just a toilet on top of the drain of the tub? <laughs> Save know. a bunch of room. Did I tell you when my friend's um, father and, and and him they do these like annual uh, motorcycle rides they like thousands of people drive up ride their bikes up to like adirondacks no you didn't tell me that yeah so so they were stopped at the gas station <laughs> and there's a line to the bathroom and this guy it's like why is there a line isn't there a sink <laughs> yeah, or a floor drain or something, <laughs> something. yeah yeah Can you imagine? Well, these guys are quick you try to like piss in the sink <laughs> oh, i've done it well you try why can't you do it well, it's kind of higher. <laughs> You're trying to like be kind of like upwards. <laughs> Just dump. You got to jump. Squirt, squirt. Just yeah, good hop. luck. Yeah. What if you can't stop? Then don't. Can you stop mid, fucking, mid-peeing? You, you think that's the worst thing that happened in the fucking gas station bathroom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gross. Yeah, that's all gross. It's I heard. Disgusting. I heard in Europe they have these like uh, bathroom stations, public bathrooms, and um, you have to like pay to go in so it's it looks like a like a oval booth and then you put coins in to use it and then it opens up you go in and use it the next person are you timed is it like what is your i, I don't know like 25 cents a minute or something <laughs> i don't know if you're timed <laughs> what, 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 is the, what is the purpose of this so it's public bathrooms yeah, a, well, in, why are they making you pay for it they think you're going to treat it better because you paid for it it's not my fucking bathroom no well i mean to cover the expense of Putting those bathrooms up. Oh my god! Yeah, just Instead like they're going into like a a business or having a porter party. It's it's these like I don't know how to explain. They're almost like an oval shape. Okay, whatever. And uh, so just I wonder if it like hoses the place down. Like how? Yeah, I mean everything. Every every public restroom should just be solid surface with like a bleach dispenser. <laughs> Concrete. And like, and you, know, you just like activate it, and it just fucking douches the whole inside of the bathroom, and it all goes down drain. Like, you know, every- yeah, like um, it's like um, picture of picture like a giant dishwasher. Right. Yep. <laughs> you go in, you pee, you get out, door closes, and these jets just fucking wash yeah, the whole exactly. place. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and why can't they? That's you make it all like concrete or whatever, and just have a floor drain, and then and then you're sanitized, good. Like, and then these like fucking jets turn on to dry really quick. You should do the same thing to the fucking campgrounds because those things fucking stink. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. You walk in there. It's all. Have you ever been to a, a campground bathroom and saw like bare claws like just <laughs> scrape the doors? No, that's no, probably someone who had a big lunch and they're fucking <laughs> just trying to pinch a loaf in the fucking <laughs> stall or. But no, I don't or know someone, why there'd be a bear inside there. Someone's wife just fucking dragged a husband out, and he was like <laughs> <laughs> grabbing at you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that. But speaking of uh, being dragged, have you heard of? Let me make sure I I, I say this um, hospital correctly, the name. But it's it used to be in Massachusetts. I believe it's, I believe it's Denver State. Or Denver State. Does that sound the same? Yeah, it's, it's the exact same thing. You said it twice. It's a mental institution that was operated in Massachusetts. From Denver um, State. Well, no, there's uh, Denver City in Massachusetts. Sits. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't make it pull. You made Massachusetts. 
<laughs> so what about this hospital? So they closed and they released all the patients. Like recently? But no, a long oh. time ago. And there were a lot of terrible experiments that were done in the basement. All these fucking insane think, asylums or anything. Yeah, I think it goes down. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I uh, found the place. Yeah, Denver's State Hospital. Danvers or D E N? D A N V E R S State Hospital. Danvers. I thought you were saying Denver. Like Denver, Colorado. No, abandoned physic um psychiatric hospital in Massachusetts. So we broke in once and we went in the basement. It's scary. Yeah, that's what they do on Halloween. All these shows they fucking Dude, like scary shit. Like um there's no lights. Oh yeah. That's a funny thing about and a vacant building. If if you look at the if you look at the corners of the walls, instead of ninety degree, the the closer you look to the floor, the more rounded, like from people trying to grab onto the wall as mm. they were being dragged. I think that's what mm. made me think of it. Mm. So there's some rooms that would have like like a torture chair in the middle of the room and just like all this lead paint peeling. It was something out of like a horror movie. It was crazy. Probably the scariest place I've ever been into. <laughs> but now, I believe they demolished it and uh, building, or maybe already built, a apartments. Or like a playground for children or something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of those places were just immense, like just yeah. huge and sprawling. Like yeah, this place you know, hundreds of acres. Distance. And let me see if there's they have a picture here. There's one famous one in uh, Pennsylvania. Still, still, still yeah. standing. Yeah. Well, you see these ghost people, ghost hunters, or whoever the fuck they mm-hmm. are on TV. I don't really pay attention to that because look at look at how big that place is. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, I don't it's know like where all this money came. It looks like a fucking castle. Do you know? Do you know if the prison in Rome, Rome, New York, still open? Uh, no. Off a of three sixty five. I think is that next to Samson State Park. I don't know. I know oh, it's yeah. right off of 360. I can't keep up because there's some things that were closing, some that weren't, some that were gonna that they didn't. Because there's a there's a big prison there, and I don't know. It doesn't look like it's open. Yeah, I don't know. I know they were gonna close one down, but I just don't know if it was that one. Mm. I mean, Griffiths Air Force Base left, and I mean it was years ago, decades ago. But I don't know uh, how they decide these things. You ever been to a prison building just to, like, as a tour? No. I have. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you do these things at fucking insane asylums, and it's kind of the same thing, right? No, this one was legit. Like, I went for a tour. Like Alcatraz thing? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but this just... is a paid tour. You're allowed to go. They're taking you on this. Yeah. Yeah. Where where was it? Oh, that was in um, uh, just outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. So that was really not that bad. They were like past all color walls and shit. Like, oh, it was occupied? Yeah, it was occupied. Oh, I thought it was vacant. I no, thought, no, 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 oh. not a vacant. I would want to even go with people there. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not afraid. I'm just like, fuck. I'm just, I mean, they're going to say something. I'll say something. You, you get to see the prisoners? Uh, they're, you're not allowed to come close. They just kind of like give you a tour of like, uh, like mm-hmm. cells and what, what the process they go through. And mm-hmm. maybe it's like a, I mean, I didn't have to pay for it. It was just okay. you sign up to go to go to the maybe they're just showing it to you to like yep. scare you. Yep. Like, hey, don't do this. That's gonna it's happen. You're to fucking you. hoodlum on your But head. it didn't look like a high security level kind of mm-hmm. I mean they have you know, access to books and computers. So okay. anyways, yeah, it, it <laughs> made me think of it because I was thinking of bear claws. Well, yeah, because why wouldn't in you think of bear claws? Yeah, think of well, you, fucking you remember prison. how my 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 mind works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we all out of beer? We're out of beer. All right, this is a recuperating episode from uh, our our New Year's Eve and holidays. Mm-hmm. So, I think we're done here. Yeah, maybe n- next episode we can kind of recap of things that happened in in our first year. Yeah, our first what ten months. Was it 10 months? Nine? No, nine, nine months. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're still there. 
We're still here. Yeah. Not there. <laughs> we're everywhere. I don't know if we're yeah. coming or going. 2024, <laughs> where you were. That's why, you know, why is piss yellow and come white? Why is what? Piss yellow and come white. Why? So you can tell whether you're coming or going. <laughs> 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 on that note oh, yeah. we're gonna wrap this up <laughs> so uh, let's uh, thank Bentwater let's thank um, uh, my brother my sister-in-law for uh, helping us to, to get that and I want to thank all our listeners our followers our subscribers on Patreon um, thank you everybody it's, it's been an awesome year from where we started to where we are now and mm-hmm. A lot more room to grow and, and a lot more content to create. Um, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing this as a job. Well, hopefully we can get there. Yeah. You know, but it's 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 a lot of fun to do. It's it's hard work. I mean, can't uh, we we it's bring busy? It's very busy work. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of scheduling. It's it's sitting down. It's working. It's having coming up with ideas, creating them, editing stuff. Um, money that's involved into um to you know we have to spend to create content um yeah all this equipment everything costs money and this takes time from our our Mm family schedule and our work as well we have full-time jobs so we just want to say thank you to everybody it's been an awesome year looking forward to this new year and the ventures that will be done by bruise and banter We'll keep plugging away. And, um, hopefully, we'll keep improving and keep delivering awesome content. Sounds good. So, cheers. All right, thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, Hopheads. Frank here. And Roman. Welcome to Brews and Banter, the podcast where we sip and spill the funniest stories over a cold one. We're not just brewing laughs and comedy. We also discuss life stories and current events in every episode. Follow The Frolic on our socials, where we brew up more than just banter. Check out linktree forward slash brews and banter for all the goods. And guess what? We've got a VIP section. Join our Patreon for exclusive content, behind the scenes brew secrets, and maybe even a blooper reel or two. Subscribe, laugh, and unlock the full brews and banter experience. Because life is too short for bad beer and boring stories. Cheers. Cheers.